you're going to click on the folder, which is right here. And then you're going to find your name, find the file that says virus slayer and your name. Now, before I go into one of those, I'm going to show you what the virus slayer game looks like when it's all done. So this is what the virus slayer game looks like. Okay, basically press green flag and you've got this disinfectant spray and you have to see the timer on the bottom. It's counting down from 60. You have 60 seconds to protect the scientist. If any of these little viruses touch the scientist, then the scientist won't be able to make the vaccine, which is going to save the world from the, from the virus. This is not the coronavirus. This is like an even worse virus. So if you don't, um, you don't watch, I'm going to let one look. I want to let one of the viruses touch the scientist. Oh no, game over. 33 seconds left. I needed to keep the scientist alive for 33 more seconds. Okay. Kill, 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 kill. All right. If I'm not going to finish this, I'm not going to finish. If you, if the sign, if the timer on the bottom gets to zero seconds, then the background changes and it says you win, you save the world. And then you can see what your score is. Every time you kill a virus, you um, your score goes up by one. So you're trying to do two things. You're trying to, of course, win the game, protect the scientist for 60 seconds. But you're also trying to get the highest score you can. So if you like try to kill too many viruses and get a high score, you might, you might not protect the scientist very well. Or you could try to protect the scientist really, really good, and then you'll win the game, but you might not get a high score. So you have to try to like kill viruses and also protect the scientist so that the scientists can make a vaccine and save the world. Okay, so how do you do that? Um, let me go back here. I clicked on my folder to go back here. I'm gonna find my name, okay? So this is my name, Virus Slayer. Then I'm gonna click See Inside, and I'm gonna start working on it. So actually most of the game is done for you. Um, I didn't wanna make this, I didn't wanna make this too hard. So the red virus is totally done for you. The blue virus is totally done for you. The purple virus is where you start. The purple virus is going to look a lot like the red and blue virus, um, but you just have to finish it. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Before I show you how to fix the purple virus, let's look and see how the purple what the purple virus is doing right now. Okay, the purple virus. Okay, the purple virus. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. The purple. Uh, it's gonna stop. I'm gonna. Hmm. All right. So you can't really tell. The purple virus is moving. Um, you can see the purple virus is making. Look at the purple virus up there. It's making. It's making clones of itself, just like the other viruses are. But the clones aren't going anywhere. The red virus clones are moving. The blue virus clones are moving, but the purple virus clones are just staying on the top. So how do we fix that? Um, first, you're going to go, you're going to look at this script. This says when I start as a clone. So this is for every single one of those clones, every single one of these like new viruses that are being made from the, from the starter sprite is a clone. So if every single one of those clones, it needs to have rules. So this script right here is setting all the rules for that purple virus. If it touches the edge, you need it to just um, delete. You need to just disappear if it touches the edge. The edge means the edge of the stage. So if it touches the edge, you're just going to put this block in, delete this clone. If it touches the disinfectant, which is the spray, um, it needs, it needs to make your score go up. So to do that, you're going to go to variables, change score, change score by one. And also, it also needs to make the clone go away. So you're going to, when, when, when touched by the disinfectant. So you're also going to put a, oops, not a stop ball, a, uh, I always get the yellow and the, I always get the yellow and the orange confused about where things are. Oh yeah, delete this clone. There we go. So I put a delete this clone under edge. I put a, a change score and delete this clone under disinfectant. Make sure it's change score, not set score. You don't want to set the score to 
one every time it touches the disinfectant because that would just keep the score at one. You need change score, which is under um, dark orange. And then under scientist, if it touches the scientist, that is a yellow block. Nope, wrong again. It's a light orange block called stop ball. That just stops the game. Okay, so that that set that sets the rules for what the um, purple sprite can does if it touches all these things. But now we also need to make sure that purple sprite can um, that, that the clones are moving. So under this one, when I start as a clone, you're going to put um, you need a point in direction because the clones need to point in some direction. This one, not point towards, point in direction. Now we don't want the clones to point in the same direction every time. We want the clones to point in like all different directions. So for that, you need a pick random. And the way to do all the directions, all the directions are like zero. You might have heard of like zero, 180, 360. So all of the directions are zero to 360, 360. That means it's picking, it could pick any direction at all. Once it picks a direction, it needs to do something forever. It needs to move forever. So it's going to move just a little tiny bit over and over and over again. It's going to move two steps forever. And that should fix the purple. So the purple virus should now work the right way. And it looks like it is. It's moving. And you can see some of the viruses, they just they get cloned. You can see the purple virus, some of them get cloned, but they, they touch the edge right away, so they disappear. But some of them start, they point, they point downward, which means they're moving. And then they're not going to disappear until either the disinfectant gets them, or they touch an edge, or they touch the scientist and stop the game. Okay, so that's how you fix the, the purple virus. Um, the scientist doesn't need any any fixes, okay? The scientist doesn't have any scripts in it at all. The disinfectant needs a couple blocks. It needs point towards mouse pointer because we want the disinfectant to always go wherever I'm moving the mouse. And the disinfectant should move like faster than the viruses. So I'm gonna say move 15 steps. So it just keeps moving 15 steps and keeps moving towards the mouse pointer. So now you can see the disinfectant is moving around. Not, it's not going, it still has to, it still has to catch up to the mouse pointer because so it's not like always right where the mouse pointer is, but it's always pointing and going towards wherever the mouse pointer is. Okay. And then the last thing you have to do is you need to go to the stage. And on the stage, the stage is pretty much all done for you. The stage has all of the timer stuff. The stage has this that says forever wait one second, change timer by negative one. That means just every second, make the timer go down. This thing just checks to see if the timer is less than one. And if it is, it's going to switch the backdrop. You don't have to change the backdrop. The backdrop's already, you can't, you don't have to change the backdrop. There's like these two backdrops. Um, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to change anything there. You don't have to change anything here or here. All you have to do is add one block to the to this to this to the scripts for the stage the block is just right here when you start the game we want to make sure that the backdrop is on blank not on you win which it already which is there we want to make sure the timer is set to 60 and then the block you're adding is just set we also want to set score back to 0 so that like the you can start the game over at 0 and that's it that's all you have to do um you want to watch me play the game? Let's see if I can actually beat it. Oh my goodness. It's probably going to be harder for you because I'm using like a real mouse, but you are using the trackpad. My score is at 15. Get those viruses. Get those viruses. Don't touch my scientist. Got to watch out for these, the ones that start really low down. They start really close to the scientists, so you have to really protect those areas. And you can't kill the uh, 
can't kill the starter sprite over here. You can't kill it. You have to. Only, you can only kill the clones. Eighteen more seconds left. Can I do it? Can I protect the scientist? What will, and what will my score be? Five, four, three. Two, one, you win. I saved the world and my score is 89. So see if you can make the game, see if you can um, fix the game, make it work and see what your score is. And then you don't have to even, you don't have to um, share it with me. You just, uh, just, uh, just go like here, file. You can do save now. Sometimes there's like a save button up here. If you just do that, you just do that, then it will be saved. And then you can just write me a message on Google Classroom saying that you, you finished it.